Early in the spring, German company Heiko Sportiv, based outside Frankfurt, presented a very different idea for Volvo cars as to how an existing Volvo S80 could be given a completely new look. First of all, it was very positive. Uh, the other thing, what we found out, it was a little bit surprising for us because we got a sm just a small kind of information, what we need to do, what they expect to get. And uh, so we, have, we came over with our ideas, uh, with our proposal, our drawings, what we have taken with us in our mind. And uh, so we asked the guys in Sweden, hey, what do you expect us to do? Um, and they said, hey, you are the professionals and we are looking forward to see what you have um, taken with you. And uh, they let us completely open, they are completely open uh, what we could do. And uh, so we are completely free in our proposals. The goal was to create something daring and sporty, at the same time as wanting to display a car with a really powerful engine that also radiates a genuine feeling of luxury. My personal ambition is to show a typical Heiko car, which fits perfectly with the idea from Volvo to show a performance as 80. That means a car which is looking sportive, which is driving sportive, which is, uh, has a strong engine, a cool sound and a high quality leather interior and a nice design. We, we change a lot. So we, in general, without the, high, the, uh, the Volvo badge, we change everything. So that means to make the car more sporty, first of all, it's a question of design. So that is the first impression what a customer or an interest uh, will have. So he sees the car, so it means we need to do some modification on the bodywork. And Volvo cars really loved Heiko's plans, which suddenly meant that what had previously just been a wild idea was to become a real show car at the SEMA show in Las Vegas. In just three months, but at an amazingly high pace, they succeeded here in Germany with the task of transforming a completely normal Volvo S80 into something that has now become an S80 performance with a very unusual aluminium look and what's more, a bioethanol engine with 350 brake horsepower. Yeah, around four months ago we started doing the first schedules and now you see the final movements on the car. It's just 48 hours uh, until we do the photo shoot. It's very amazing what has been done the last uh, four months. For Volvo cars, this has been a really exciting way of developing an existing model into something completely new.